Nephrotic syndrome includes both the massive protein urea of more than or equals to 3.5 grams per day and hypoalbuminemia, serum albumin of less than and equals to 30 grams per liter. In protein urea, the urine looks frothy. In hypoalbuminemia, albumin is lost in the urine. Gaps in the podocytes allow the proteins to leak into the urine. This results in the decreased intravascular oncotic pressure. Fluid moves out of the intravascular compartments and into the surrounding tissues, causing edema. Due to the hypoalbuminemia, the liver compensates and increases the production. However, this has the side effects of also increasing the production of lipids, hence causing hyperlipidemia. In the nephrotic syndrome, there is microscopic or macroscopic hematuria, red cell casts from in nephrons and indicates the glomerular damage. Hematuria occurs due to podocytes developing large pores which allow the blood and proteins to escape into the urine. Protein urea is comparatively low. There is mild hypertension and low urine volume of less than 300 milliliters per day. Deciding between the nephrotic and nephrotic syndromes is useful starting point for your differential diagnosis. Each is associated with a subset of diseases like nephrotic syndrome is associated with minimal changes uh, like glomerulonephritis, focal segmental glomerulosecularosis, membranous glomerulonephritis, SLE, hepatitis B and C, HIV, diabetes mellitus and malignancy. The nephritic syndrome is associated with the post-streptococcal glomerulonephritis, IgA nephropathy, rapidly progressive glomerulonephritis, the good pasture syndrome, vasculitic disorders, membranoproliferative glomerulonephritis, and henosh colon purpura. Watch detailed lectures on scaria.com pathology course. That's two minutes. See you in the next video.